And then from here, you can just go crazy with topics and subtopics. So, you know, you hit the insert button and we'll say this is going to be, um, you know, we'll say personal. And we're going to make a commercial. We're going to make a life and health. And then, you know, under life and health, we're going to want, you know, procedures. And again, I'm just doing this with the insert key. You know, we're going to want links. And say our, under our life and health, we're going to want a vacation calendar. That's, again, just the normal old calendar. We're just going to rename it to vacation calendar. Um, under commercial lines, we're going to want, say, departmental goals. And we'll call them the one year. And, you know, we'll also put out their uh, three year goals, too. So you can get the idea of what you can do with this program. You can do it with PowerPoint. You know, you can do it with Word. You know, we just found it's easy to do with this um, because you can quickly move things around. You want to move these to a different section. Um, you want to link things to kind of symbolize that different things are related. You've got lots of different options on a right click here. You can add hyperlinks. You can um, set different priorities and statuses. And you can do what's called relationships. You know, say, so you're going to want your procedures and commercial lines to coincide with personal lines. You know, there's, there's our mind map. Now you can put this in, uh, into a slideshow view too, almost like PowerPoint. So, you know, it's easy to, uh, you know, easy to kind of look, you know, look at what you're seeing. So we've talked about, you know, SharePoint helping you get to know what's there, what's possible, you know, what kind of items are out there. And then permissions, you know, how you're going to handle that, then how you're going to go about brainstorming your site. Because you're going to want your plan really before you start creating your site. It's going to be hard to just go on the fly. But let me, uh, we'll finish up here by just showing you what's possible. Uh, what I've done for you is I've created a site uh, using a lot of the same content that we've seen a lot of agencies use. Um, organizing it in a pretty efficient way, you know, doing a little bit of customization for our business to look like our site, you know, not just generic. So here's our, you know, here's our not yet completed, but, uh, you know, quite far along uh, SharePoint site. You know, I customized our logo. We added our company link. You know, we've got some company goals set. We're going to, you know, we've got some sales goals. We might be moving to a new building. Um, we've got a welcome message, you know, welcome to our intranet site. You know, we made a wiki, which we might have just some fun facts about our company. Um, we've got, you know, our personal lines department. You know, pretending we're in agency world here. Uh, we've got some departmental goals. You know, we're going to improve the speed of new quoting for uh, customers by two minutes. We're going to round out our existing accounts. You know, we've got our vacation calendar created. We've got lists of carriers, uh, we've got, you know, personal lines procedures, and we've got our personal lines wiki, or like our personal lines encyclopedia. You know, we might have a commercial lines site with a lot of the same content. Uh, we might have, you know, life and health. We might have, uh, you know, besides departmental goals, we might have, you know, talk about life and health issues here. This is done, again, through just a, just a task list, and I just renamed it to an issues list. You know, we might have an operations, you know, aside from just your departments. This would be for, you know, management, for building operations, things like that. And again, you know, we talked about employee center. You know, this is like your, you know, good place for HR stuff, company handbooks, um, different uh, information that all your employees are going to want to see. So, you know, there's no limit to, to the number of web parts you can have in here, you know, like duplicate web parts. You can have lots of document libraries. You might call one um, the rating procedures. You might call one, um, you know, just uh, technical procedures or the computer procedures, you know, how to do these things. Um, you might have some procedures that are just the acceptable use. Talk about your email policies, your internet usage policies, things like that. So that's why it's good to know about that tool that makes it nice and easy to, you know, kind of lay out what you want to do with it. So if anybody is ever interested in, uh, again, seeing this webinar, we're going to have it posted up on our website uh, in the near future. 
uh, we can also, uh, you know, give some personal demos and lend some personal help with, uh, for you as well. So I want to thank everybody for uh, attending our webinar. We're going to keep these going on a monthly basis. They're going to be every fourth Wednesday of the month at 10 a.m. Uh, welcome any kind of topic suggestions that you may have. Some upcoming webinars are going to be on how to efficiently set up and have people working remotely. Um, on proper backup procedures and uh, archiving. You know, I know archiving is a, a hot topic nowadays with a lot of the privacy laws out there and, you know, having the, uh, the looming lawyers over your head, you know, asking you to get a fact back from four years ago. We'll tell you how that's possible. We'll also talk about um, managing spam and email and web browsing in your agency, how to keep that safe and how to keep your computers uh, running optimally. So again, thank you. And if anybody has any questions, you know, I'll stay online for a few minutes. We'll hopefully answer those for you. Uh, any, uh, you know, requests for demos or things like that, I'd be happy again to help. You can just send us an email here. Uh, you can get me at bryant.caudill, that's B-R-Y-A-N-T, dot C-A-U-D-I-L-L, -L, at smartservices.com. So again, thank you, everybody. I don't have any questions yet. I'll stay on here for a few minutes. And uh, we'll hope to see you next month on the uh, fourth Wednesday at 10 o'clock. Thank you.